you're looking at video 21 it's it's not together yet I'm still working on some things here I just wanted to show you something on my uh, new upgraded coil look at look at this coil man it's awesome here here's uh, here's the old coil, old coil how much smaller it is this thing is see how much bigger this other coil is than that it's huge it's much better um, I'm getting ready to put it together here pretty soon. I got some more modifications go. As you can see, there's like little springs right here on each side of that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Then there's a spring on this side over here. See how it makes it... Let me back out now. What it's going to do is make it so it could pivot back and forth like this up and down it can move any which way so when this thing oscillates in here it's 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 a self-adjusting coil and like I said there's a spring on each side so in other words it's going to make it so it can move back and forth like this up and down see there's a I'll move right in see there's a space there too so when I push it back it could move that way up down back so those springs will make it so it doesn't uh, have such a problem adjusting why in why it's oscillating in that and that's the improvement I've made on that coil that is a huge improvement I've been working on it uh, also if you take a look in here I got rid of the bushings I put springs inside there that way, I notice when it would run with these bushings here, like in this bushing, it would uh, rub quite a bit. And at, but that's an awesome looking coil there, isn't it? Then I also had to go out of my way to do a lot of tool and die work on it. The machine had to make that thing fit. You could see all the cutting in that. A lot of tool and die work there. Very fine. Had to burr it out, machine it, cut it with different angle cutters and stuff. There's a lot to each one of these. I got every one of them all done. There's this is a big mess to put together. I mean, you know, just take a look at this table here. I mean, there's this whole thing's a part now, and it's in components and stuff. Here's uh, the coils I'm gonna start putting together here. There's a lot of them. I'll start building those coils and that. I got everything all cut up and that. Starting assembling. You know, but it's going to pretty much suck up all this whole mess when it goes back together and that. I mean, it's. And then here's some of the other parts I was showing you about in the other video. I go in there. I got to make some parts over. I lose sometimes. You know, when you got a mess like this, it's very easy to lose a part or misplace a part or whatever. You know? Here's the transmission. I think you guys seen that already. Do a little bit more work on that. Adjustments and stuff like that. And these right here, I gotta adjust these a little bit here. These are some of the counterweights that go into it. I gotta do a little bit more machining on those. And that. Here's uh, over here's Some of the magnets, these are the magnets that go in it. It's going to run it. And that, very nice 52 grade, and that they're the strongest magnets that you could buy. I also have uh, materials and stuff that's kind of left over, and that. I'm going to see if people want to, you know, instead of asking contributions, you know, I'll just sell some of these parts that didn't work out, you know, some of my experimental parts. See what I got in here. I got these little things in here. I, I kind of put magnets in them and I use it to figure out the distances and stuff like that. I got a lot of experimental parts, you know, I'll sell people, you know, to try and raise some money in that. I'm not going to just sell you, uh, ask you for money in that. That's, but I got a lot of work in these and that, that, uh, 
parts and stuff you know, like these rings here I changed my mind on that instead of having a, a small coil like this I want to go to a much larger coil like that the design and that plus I got all kinds of experimental parts and stuff you know I can uh, work something out on. I don't know if it's a good idea to sell that stuff off or not. You know, I'm just running by people. I like to get a little extra money so I could uh, continue on with it. When I get done in that, I'm going to start wrapping it, it with uh, magnet wire. And I got bunches of it over here. I got all kinds of magnet wire around here. Just different types of it. And I could try out different types of it when I build these coils, put them all together in that. I got to cut these down quite a bit. You know, they're just a little bit too big. I kind of got them roughed in in that. And I got to keep doing that. I'm putting uh, stainless steel stuff into it so it doesn't interfere. Even stainless steel is magnetized in that. There's some parts down in here, aluminum parts. Stainless steel, all kinds of bushings and stuff in that. It'll it'll suck most of this stuff up. Ooh, I spilled some out here. Set screws, those little, little tiny set screws I'm putting inside there. But it's, it's coming together in that. As you can see, it's kind of built in components and stuff. What I do is, I also had to clear it out on the side here. Because the distance between this and this magnet up here, you know, I want to make sure I have enough room so they're not running into each other. So I had to do some machining. I had to cut these parts down in that. I got a lot more machining to do on it. A little bit of tool and die work and stuff. Try to get the clearance and stuff right. So it should be coming together here pretty soon. See how much I cut that down in there to get that to fit? And then there's, it'll kind of like float over. Like you can see this distance right here. See, watch. When I move it over, see, it'll move either way. There's a little bit of, a little bit of, so it adjusts down inside there. As you can see. But those little springs, I had to, that's what I spent a lot of time on. They're trying to get that adjustment made for that spring in that so it can adjust back and forth. A lot of time. But it doesn't take anything once you get the prototype, you know, part that you want. It doesn't take much time to put it back together. The beauty of this thing is I could make these coils and wrap them with different magnet wire and, uh, I can uh, use uh, different, you know, and then I could test it with these meters over here and test instead of wrapping them with the same wire, I'm going to wrap them with different wires and then I'm going to see what this, what kind of reading I get from this meter on it. And he's got all kinds of extra meters in that he bought. And then I got like little pads I'm going to put on the bottom. I'm going to cut this up and it's like a little rubber fits on the bottom of these rails here and once I put this together there's like this little pin it pushes out and then I kind of like put it together in sections I put it all together in sections and it just slides together each section so it's got all kinds of parts here and stuff I mean it's a big mess I mean, take a look at this mess I mean you know this is all going to be the, put together into one big unit you know, a lot of parts to fit inside there. And I've been working on it. <clears throat> it just takes time to get it all done. I also want to take this and I want to drill and tap some holes on these on the top of this. So I have set screws on the bottom and set screws on the top. So that way, those uh, these bearings won't slip in there. So that'll kind of keep it down. Well, that's about all I got to go for right now. You'll see my next video coming up. I should be done by Easter. should have it together. I'll let you go.
Goodbye.